Oh, you stupid cat. Get in the house. Oh, how you doing, guys? I um, just got finished school. This is the last Friday before March break, or spring break, is something you might call it. Um, I got off a little bit early. My last class uh, teacher, she went home sick, so uh, no class for me. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I just I was just having a talk with uh, like in the office before I left, having a talk about to uh, the custodian at my school. And he was talking about um, bringing his bike out for the year. Uh, he, he has um, uh, it's a some big cruiser. I think it's American. I'm sorry for all you uh, you big bike guys. Or you guys are into the cruiser. If you're into the cruisers or whatever, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. I think it might be a victory. Maybe. Anyway, so he was talking about bringing it out uh, next weekend. Uh, I guess uh, I started thinking like a uh, fair weather riders, you know what I mean? Like people who only ride when it's, you know, 20 degrees or warmer out. I don't know, I just wanted to like ask, uh, like what do you think of that? Like when I think of like the fair weather riders, honestly what I think of, think about is like the guys who will ride, uh, they ride without gear. Like I, I rode down to the beach one day last summer and I was, I was going down the beach road and there's this guy on a Jix, it was a 600 or 750, they look the same. Anyway, and he had shorts, really, really small shoes. They were like, they're not even like skate shoes, they were like slip-on shoes and a t-shirt. And he had a full face helmet, but, you know, that's only because, you know, half-face helmets are not cool, I guess you'd call it. I uh, know some people there's that stigma or whatever. Anyway, so uh, well, like my opinion on fair weather riders is yeah one like I just said it's like the squids that go up. So I, I don't really like those kinds of riders. And then there's also you know you get like the older fellas, older people, right? Like like my custodian. He's not like a really young guy. He's not a really old guy either. But. You get that group, and that group's different because you get the people who go on the cruisers and stuff, and like that's a completely different, and that's a completely different kind of rider. Uh, let's go this way. Salt. All right. Back to the topic before Steven took over for a little bit there. Uh, so what I what I think of when I think of fair weather riders is um, uh, people maybe that are like a little bit tired of biking, like they've done it and like they've sort of they've grown out of it maybe, or they think they've grown out of it, or somebody who like they they did it when they were a kid and they just sort of got a bike and you, you can tell from my first video I was pretty cold in that if you've seen it. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fair weather rider. I like to get out pretty much whenever. Holy moly. That's a lot of dirt. Uh, that should almost be illegal, seriously. But I am not a fair weather rider. I'll go out and pretty much anything that isn't unsafe. Like I've ridden minus five temperatures before just to go for a ride. Wearing jeans in my jacket, which is, you know, on reflection, it's really stupid. Because it's cold. So, oh, so cold. Like, if there's a clear day, I'll try and at least get my bike out. Like, I, you, you might not know very much about Nova Scotian winters, but something you can usually be sure of is that you're not going to be able to get your motorcycle out at all. However, this winter, that's not the case. I got my bike out at least once every month. It's, like, it's very uncommon for being in Nova Scotia to be able to get out and go for a ride. Uh, and uh, a lot of, you know, the more fair weather riders have it. Like, I am the kind of person who, you know, sunny and 20 degrees. That is what I wish every day was like. So if it's raining or if it's snowing or anything like that, I don't like it. But 
I also love riding a bike and sometimes for some reason my love of riding a bike trumps every other thing I hate. I could have an awful day, go out on the bike. When you're out on like a really cold day, like the days when I'm out in January and like if I see another bike I'm like, no way, another bike. You know the people you see riding in the winter months in a place where it's as cold, it gets as cold as it does here? Like you know those are like the true, you never want to put your bike away sort of bikers. Like those are the hardcore bikers who are out like on a ride first week into May and they're not gonna and they're not gonna start driving their car to work till the snow comes sort of thing. Like those are the hardcore bikers that you see out and, and those are the bikers who, who take it so much more seriously. Like those are those are the people who are gonna wear their jackets on a twenty on a thirty degrees day because they know it makes them safer, right? Like that's that kind of person. And like I feel like those bikers are just like they if only every biker could be like that. Like it's just such a great representation of the breed and it is like all of us should be like that. We should just like every chance we get we should get our bike out. There's another guy of my age who I go to school with and he has a bike and he he's, gets his bike out and sometimes I, I, I look at him like, hey, dude, you rode today? But then he'll look at, like I got hailed on before on my bike and if you've never been hailed on or if you don't even know what hail is, you are a very, very lucky person because it's so not pleasant to be hailed on. Ugh, that's, that's like the worst thing in the world. What it basically is, is it sounds like rain on your helmet, but it's not. It's ice, it's, it's like chunks of ice falling from the sky that are like that big. It's like actually that big. It's huge. It, it's ridiculous like how huge these chunks of ice are and they're just like falling on your head and they're like, like you can feel them through your jacket. Like they're, they're hurt. They, they hurt. Not pleasant at all. And if you take a day like today, like it's a lot, I, I rode, when I left the school this morning, it was a uh, minus one, thereabouts. Uh, it's got to be a bit warmer now, it's got to be three or four now. Oh, it's summer temperatures in Canada, eh? <laughs> yeah, but these fair weather riders, I mean, I, I, I get them, like I, I, I understand it completely. Because I am one of the, I am a type of person who I really do not like winter. It's just that my hatred of winter is completely outweighed by my love of bikes. Yeah, so that's really what I have to say on the topic of fair weather riders. Like, I understand you, I'm just choosing to disagree. It's sort of, you know, one of those things. It's like, I understand, but I'm disagreeing. An awful day, go out on the bike, and it's... Oh um, my goodness, I just realized how Canadian I said oh. It's like, go out, go out, what's the go to the store, eh? You hoser. Take off 